Hi, it's Ruth. Let's address the many questions I get about CBD. To prepare for this video, I collected data from several sources, primarily from Dave R. Stauer, DMD, MS, Masters in Medical Science from Harvard and MIT. Now to accurately answer the many questions surrounding CBD, the first thing we need to do is consider the body's endocannabinoid system as it is the target of the CBD. The endocannabinoid system in our body is responsible for monitoring and controlling any inflammatory responses experienced by the body. So since any kind of injury, as we know, will result in some inflammation and usually some pain, how does the body respond to that? Like other systems of the body, the cells of the endocannabinoid system have individual receptors which will only respond to direct impact. Attempting to change the endocannabinoid system with indirect activity will not be effective. The receptors are divided into two types, the CB1 receptors of the brain and central nervous system and the CB2 receptors of the endocrine and immune systems. The key question then is, how does CBD affect the endocannabinoid system? Where is CBD obtained? There are actually three main cannabinoids, all derived from plants. Cannabidiol will be present in low quantities or not at all. It does not act directly on either the CB1 or CB2 receptors, so we can really pretty much just eliminate talking about that one. The second cannabinoid is tetrahydrocannabinol. Can, sorry, cannabinol. Sorry, hard THC. That's the one that is regulated and illegal in many areas. It interacts with both the CB1 and CB2 uh, receptors, and with the CB1 receptors, that stimulation could cause psychoactive effects. That's why it is regulated and mostly illegal. The third cannabinoid is beta caryophylline. This is the one that is most responsible for decreasing inflammation and pain. It has no CB1 interaction. However, it has direct interaction on the CB2 receptors. And remember, we just said that direct impact is the only activity that will actually make changes in the endocannabinoid system. CBD, as I said, is a tetrahydrocannabinol. It is a botanical coming from either a plant, a hemp plant, or marijuana. However, it is not an essential oil. It is often referred to as CBD oil, and people might think it's an essential oil because the isolated molecule is combined with some type of carrier oil. But as an individual molecule, it cannot go directly to the cell receptors. Again, remember that is critical. Instead, it goes through a whole series, a whole process of indirect activities that eventually may, and that's the important word, may stimulate the correct receptors. However, the receptors also act on the all or none principle, which means they either get stimulated or they don't. So the amount of stimulation they are given is going to be what will determine whether or not they are stimulated. If the CBD is in a minimal amount in terms of dosage, it may not even be substantial enough to create a reaction, even if it does get to the correct receptor, which means there is no guarantee it will provide the benefits that are desired by people on a consistent basis. This explains why some CBD products appear to be better, quote unquote, than others, and why many people just keep searching around and buying different CBD products and spending excessive amounts of money on CBD products, none of which work. Now, don't forget, because there is no standardization or regulation of CBD, the potential exists for very inconsistent dosage and potency. So the buyer cannot possibly know what kind of benefits they will get, if any. 
And although the only cannabinoid we really want is the beta caryophylline, there is the potential for some THC to be present. This sets up a situation where the buyer has absolutely no idea what they are buying when they think they are buying CBD. And since CBD acts on both receptors, that opens the door for possible psychoactive effects. Now, there is, yay, good news. Instead of CBD, thankfully, we have doTERRA copaiba, which is a true essential oil. It is a complete plant chemistry that acts directly, which the receptors require, on only one of the receptors, the, CBD, the CB2 receptor. There is consistent testing done on this product by both doTERRA and independent testers. So the chemistry and therefore the potency or dosage remains consistent and therefore the buyer will know what they can expect to benefit and what results, the same results they can expect on a very consistent basis. So in summary, let's compare the two. First in the way they act and second in their cost. CBD is an isolated molecule with indirect activation of the receptor, inconsistent dosage and potency, as well as regulatory and standardization challenges. Studies indicate that most CBD products on the market contain as little as 0 to 8% beta-caryophylline, that extremely important cannabinoid for decreasing inflammation and pain. Copaiba is complete plant chemistry with direct activation and reasonable dosing. doTERRA copaiba contains 50 to 70 percent beta-caryophylline, so you can see that it's going to be the one that's going to be more effective in relieving your symptoms. Now cost-wise, many CBD products can cost between $75 and $180, while doTERRA copaiba retails for $46.67 and wholesales at $35. I trust this has answered any questions you may have had regarding CBD. Please click my link in the comments to purchase doTERRA's copaiba. And please know, when you purchase through me as a doTERRA wellness advocate, I am absolutely committed to supporting you in the use of your products. Contrast this to you going to buy oils or many other products at retail stores. If there is actually a human being assisting you at the register to check you out, you might get a thank you or a little wave and a comment to have a nice day as you leave. But then when you get home, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to use your product. You don't know how many drops to use or you don't know how often to use it. Or if you have a reaction you don't understand, you don't have any place to turn. You don't have anyone to call. And then you may go to the internet to try to find information, but that's going to be confusing, contradictory, and frightening. When you purchase from me, you truly get free personal coaching from me. So click the link and let's keep you happy and healthy at home.